Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Hold on, y'all. Let me let a little air in this car. Lord, do I smell spring. Come on now. I like spring. I like summer, too. Y'all see my ponytail? Y'all like Miss Lane. We tired of ponytails. What's up, y'all? Out here wanting to do a quick lunch break talk. Um, I hope y'all day is going amazing. It's going well. It is so beautiful out here today. It's really, really a nice day. And I'm just learning to count every blessing. Every blessing in life. Uh, I want to come to y'all and talk about marriage. Uh, man. If someone would have told me the, the year last year when my husband uh, was asked to leave the house uh, that that might been what we need to fix our marriage I would have done that sooner y'all he's still here <laughs> he's still here um He's supposed to be here. Y'all know what I was going through with my daughter. Um, I think I even said it in one of the videos. I was like, it was crazy that when I was going through all that, he had left me a voicemail, but I missed the call because I was at work. And it was just crazy how he reached out to me. It was just like, hey, I'm just checking on you. Been on my mind heavy. When I was going through all that. Um, I can't even put my emotions into words. The town we stay in now. I am hours away from family. Um, we moved over here together. As a family. Uh, his family is like... 45 minutes from us but nevertheless so that's how far he was from us doing this little year time apart mm -hmm, come around every now and again but for the most part it was just me for the very very most part 98% last year was just me and my babies and as broken as that situation that just happened that that stunned my daughter poor left me left me broken hearted let me turn this we out here with the music okay we know y'all feel a song but as um as broken as that left me it made me realize I, I need my husband um Marriage is not for the weak. These past couple of days, I've learned to shut this. I ain't say I'm good at it. Well, I should have said I'm learning to shut this sometimes. I've also realized me and my husband both love to be spoiled. So we have to learn to balance each other and learn that it's not all what I want and he needs to learn that it's not all what he wants. Um, I have been so up for it about um, him being a provider but this time, these days he's been back in the home, I feel protected. Y'all, I'm not finna get emotional. I feel safe. Y'all, I thought I was ready to make this video. Whew. 
Um, I feel very safe. And I'm so glad that he's back. Do we have much to work on? So much. We have so much to work on. Every day we have, we're going to have something to work on to overcome. But when I tell y'all that time apart, I know it. He, um, I know he's seeing it, and I seen it. Y'all, when we was on our knees, I said, y'all, come on, let's pray as a family. We all gathered around our bed, in our bedroom, and, um, even the kids came last night. I said, y'all, let's get on our knees and... And let's pray. And y'all, the tears that just rolled down my face. And all I could do was thank God. All I could do was thank God for my husband. Yeah, he not perfect. I'm not perfect either. Yes, he got flaws. I got flaws. But I believe we're willing to work this time. We're willing to make it work. When we got up off our knees, I said, can I take you on a date? You know, I have bought him things, clothes, shoes, you know. But I'm be very transparent here. I've never took him on a date. I never pulled for him. I never showed him that one-on-one -on -one time that I begged so much for him to give me. Y'all remember a lot of times when I said a lot of times we got to teach people how to, how we want to be treated by actions. Because that's not my husband. He don't know about that. That's not his background. He didn't come from that. He Everything that my husband is experiencing with me, he's never experienced it. Never, ever, ever. Don't know what it is. And I had to realize, like, how can I expect someone to just give what I'm giving? That takes time. They take you have to build that up. So I'm gonna take him on a date. I'm gonna take him to see the Bar Marley movie. And I'm gonna take him to Texas Row House. That's his favorite place. I'm going to be honest, I have been so caught up on what he didn't know how to do because it's new to him. That I didn't realize. The good, the quality, the other things that he brought to the marriage. Y'all, I did not know I was going to get this emotional. He woke up this morning. He said, good morning to me. With a smile on his face. And I know that smile meant. That we going to make it this time. I'm looking forward to taking him out tomorrow. Out of all these years, y'all, I've never told him, hey, get nice. Let me take you on a date. Never. Never.
marriage is something it's not for the weak but it don't matter our time apart you know he's never stepped out the marriage I haven't stepped out the marriage and those are the only grounds you know basically for marriage biblically to get divorced I'm not speaking worldly I'm keeping God in our marriage and no, we didn't have grounds to get a divorce. So, we just got to pray and keep God first and just move different. He said something. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, he said something about um, since when we found out Nehemiah would had the flu. He was like, yeah, so that means you got to change the sheets and uh, wash the bed and, and let him sleep in his own room. And I'm like, yeah, I know that. Not in a uh, grouchy way, but just like, um, yeah, I know. And he was like, dang, I can't say nothing. What it is, I'm so used to being so independent uh, my husband didn't have to grow up as fast if, as I have so I realized that he's always he wants to be able to lead me I have to allow him to lead and I have to learn how to do that he always say, yeah, I know you don't need this or you know this or you don't care because you miss Big Bear Angelina. And that's because of the image I have put out there. You know, my life hasn't been a piece of cake. I don't know who life has. And I have to understand how to allow myself to be submissive. It ain't hard to me to, for me to be submissive to that man. But I have to be willing to let go of this. I don't need nobody. I'm, as long as I got me and my kids. I'm, you know, that man have come into our life, y'all. When I tell y'all my husband go as hard for those kids like they biologically his. Everybody always say you can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference. It's no difference. It's nothing you could point to and be like, hey, that's not. He goes out with my son and play football at me. Did you do your homework? Did you? Uh, how was school? He he's that. He's he's a parent. You know. And I'm just sitting here so thankful. But I, I, I didn't know that it would take my daughter to break my heart the way she just did for me to realize how much I, I need him. I needed my husband back in that home. This time it feel like the puzzle is complete. I just pray that I'm able to humble me. I'm able to learn to be quiet. I'm able to, y'all, I'm so, I'm not talking about the bubbly personality, but I try to be so hard and so ugh, big bad. I know I do. I know I do. <sighs> y'all, this is what lunch break talk was about. <laughs> Me crying to y'all. Let me get ready to get back up in this job. Y'all remember the world needs your positivity. Make somebody smile. Y'all keep us in your prayer.